Hi! This is the first time I've put on a colorful lip in uh, a year, but I thought it uh, looked cute, so here we are. So this past winter, berets really became my staple hat. I am continuing to wear them into the spring. However, I don't think I need my thick wool one. So I wanted to make something that was slightly more lightweight with a lighter weight yarn. And I thought we could do it together. So we want to take you along on this journey of me knitting this gorgeous red beret. So you can see the very first one that I made of these in my everything I knit in 2020 video. And I made a follow up, a second one. And then I made a third because maybe I have a friend that would like it. So the only skills that you need for this hat are the knit stitch, the purl stitch, make one, and knit two together. That's it. Pretty good, I think, starting project for somebody that may want to start adding these kind of shaping elements in, and you also get this gorgeous pinwheel effect from those knit two together. So tools that you'll need are circular needles or double pointed needles, whatever flavor of yarn you want, and a stitch marker. I mean, at the end as well, you should get like a darning needle or yarn needle so you can weave in the ends and finish your project. So I'm using a medium weight yarn with size seven needles. First thing you're gonna do is cast on 72 stitches. I like using the long tail cast on, but I can't see why any other semi stretchy cast on wouldn't work. Easy enough, the first few rounds are going to be a one by one rib. So you'll knit one, purl one, and repeat that until you're all the way in the round again. And then just knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one. Until your piece is two inches long. Then you will knit one round, just the knit stitch. Once you've completed that, we will now do a knit two, make one. This will bring us from 72 stitches to 108 stitches. The way I make one for this hat is I pick up the stitch from in between two stitches to create a new one and then I knit it through the back loop so that it kind of twists the yarn and we don't have a hole. I don't want any like lace detail or holes in the hat because it is a hat. I want it to keep me warm. I don't want the wind getting through there. You now have 108 stitches. The following round will be just knit stitches. As your smaller round needles start to fill up, you may wanna switch over to longer round needles. Gives you a little bit more space to move around, but keep those short needles nearby because we will be going into deer creases. Now we're on to our second increase round. You will knit 18 stitches, make one. So you will knit those 18 stitches and then you do the same technique of picking up that little, that little yarn bridge from the middle, knit through the back of that, and that's your make one. And then you do 18, make one, knit 18, make one until you've made it all the way around. Now you have 114 stitches. The following round will be just knit stitches. Now we go on to our third and final increase round. You are going to knit 19, make one in the same fashion that we've done all of our other increase rounds. At the end of this round, you should have 120 stitches. Now that we've done that final decrease row, you're going to knit two rounds of just knit stitch. So two knit rows. Now we have the beginning of our decreases. You are going to knit 13, then knit two together. Doing this will reduce by eight stitches total because that is how many spirals we want to be doing. So knit two together is one of the simplest decreases that you could do. And as the name says it, you knit two stitches together.
At the end of this round, you will have 114 stitches. Now, you once again knit two full rounds of just knit stitch. Now we're going to decrease again. You're going to knit 12, knit two together. Then you do a round of knit stitch. The next round is a decrease round where you knit 11, knit two together, followed by a row of knit stitch. Now I don't know if you're starting to pick up on this little pattern that's starting to happen. As we're decreasing the hat down, we are alternating between a knit row and a decrease row. And those decrease rows are decreasing the number of stitches that are there. So we went from knit 13, knit two together, knit 12, knit two together, knit 11, knit two together. So the next one is going to be knit 10, knit two together, a round of knit stitch, knit nine, knit two together, round of knit stitch, alternate between a decrease row and a knit stitch row until you only have 16 stitches remaining. Now this project is nice because you don't have to cast off at all. All you're going to do is take your working yarn and feed it through the loops so that they're all the way through. Pull tight and secure by tying a knot on the inside. And there you go, you have a pinwheel hat. You can see the pinwheel formation as it starts to come together. Those knit two togethers is what's pulling it in that arcing shape. Then you wanna weave in your ends and there you go, you have a pinwheel hat. I think it's a wonderful springtime hat now with a lighter yarn. It doesn't really warm your head too much. Am I not adorable? I like it, I feel cute. It's barely on my head, but since I have short curly hair, these are also great at covering awful bed head when I don't wanna do my hair in the morning. All I have to do is make sure the front bits look kinda cute and then. And yeah, you don't have to wear it like I have here. You can wear a more traditional beret style. If you want to, that's why these are such a fun versatile hat. Sorry, I was checking myself out in the viewfinder. I'm just looking real cute today. So I hope you give this beret a try. I think it's a nice stepping stone on utilizing some new skills. If you've only just learned how to knit and you've done like something flat like a scarf, this is something that has a little bit more texture, a little bit more personality, implements a few more skills that you might not have used before. And it's a small enough project that you can finish it in a few hours. I think it took me about three hours to knit this. And that was with watching Netflix while doing laundry, you know, on and off little project. Great, I hope I gave enough details in instructing. I hope you like this format. This was nice. All right, well, thanks for being here. Make a cute hat, oh my God, oh, oh. If you knit this, oh, you should tag me in a photo on Instagram. Oh my God, I would freaking love to see that. Cool, my Instagram is linked below. That's fun. Okay, I'm too excited, bye.